Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I hope you guys are all planning a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, meanwhile, this reading is for Alexis. She wanted to know if I could read on Emily Murphy. I'm <laughs> I love her comment. The question is, is she going to face the Murphy's Law for years to come since she was an obstacle for 20 plus days? <laughs> that's, a, that's a, I love that question. Okay, so, Emily Murphy. So the forces in motion, what's, what's really going on in her life? Her challenges, what she actually did in the past of her own accord, her karma for what she did, and her future. Okay, and I'm, I am going to layer the Lanermon, but I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to use this one here, this Gilded Reverie by Ciro Marchetti. And so let me go ahead and draw those cards I shuffled previously. Okay, so Emily, forces in motion, challenges, her past, her karma that she has created, and her future. Okay, so let's get this laid out. Okay, so the forces in motion, what's, what's really going on with her, we have the uh, Five of Cups. Her challenge, we have the King of Cups. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, what she did in the past, we have the Nine of Wands. Hmm. Uh, the karma that's hanging over her, we have the Hanged Man. And her actual future, we have the Page of, um, page of Wands reversed. Hmm. Okay. So layering the Laner Mon, the forces in motion to add, we have, uh, you know, with the Five of Cups, we have the book card. Hmm, that says a lot right there. Okay, challenges, her challenge is the ring, so her partnership connection with, oh, I get what this is. Hold on, let me lay these out, and then I'll talk about it. Yeah, Emily, Emily, Emily. So what happens when a woman a woman doesn't have her own independent um, her own independent thought, her own independent belief system, her own authority? Okay, so let's make sure these are up for the closed captioning, and let's kind of move these over a little so we don't get the positions mixed up. So with the forces in motion, with the five of cups, there's some disappointment in her life. She's not looking at the, the good job she had uh, prior to. She's looking at the fact that uh, she made a huge mistake. I think she's. I think there's some regret going on with the Five of Cups. Of course, it's Mars and Scorpio, and you know she wanted to. She wanted to get somewhere. She wanted to have some power, but. In this particular situation, and I, I wouldn't, you know, assign this meaning to it all the time, but in the context of the question, because with tarot or any divination system, we always have to, the most, in, the most important thing is that um, we go back to the context of the question, which is, is she going to experience Murf Murphy's Law <laughs> in her life? So this would show the regret that she has going on. I, the the five of cups the the challenge is is to not um, not look at all the things that you lost but to notice what you still have and can you cross this little bridge back here which is see that little bridge back there that's that leads back to the ca the castle you know maybe you're down by the river or you're uh, like Chris Farley you know in a van down by the river <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> Oh no, what have I done? And anyway, the challenge is, is to cross the bridge to a new life. To grieve the past and let it go and you know, let the let the life force, the rivers of life take you, you know, to a, a, a different reality within your emotional body. 
and and then go back home, you know, go back home to your safety. But because this is coupled with the book card, there's some secrets here. There's some there's there's something really complicated, I think, in her life, which is not a traditional meaning of the book card that I would assign. But in this situation, this feels to me like there's something deep within her that that she didn't know about herself. And I say that because so something hidden deep within her that has caused this grief. This is the whole you know sh shebang you know kit and caboodle or whatever you want to call it that has all this spinning in her life. And it has to do with a father issue. She she has projected her unmet real needs, you know, to be taken care of and to be um, protected, I get. I'm hearing protected and um, and loved and, you know, for safety. Every child has a real, a real need for safety. Otherwise, you know, they, they don't make it, right? I mean, it's such a real need. So something went wrong with her relationship with her father, and that's the challenge. And she had projected that onto Trump, and there's the partnership there. And it's going to spin for her. This, this, this issue is going to keep spinning and spinning and spinning until she gets deep down inside and figures out how she gave away her power to him because she's still trying to... She's, she's literally recreated a childhood wounding or childhood you know traumatic wound. And she's trying to win. She's trying to get his love. She's doing everything she would commit to do anything to get his love until she just could no longer. So, bravo to her for finally stepping in and saying, uh, you know, she had to do what she had to do. But she's still, she's kind of grieving over it. And this is all, I believe it's all hidden from her. But hopefully this will get her one step closer to healing her soul. And, you know, clearing all this out. And so what she actually did in the past with the Nine of Wands, she put herself in the position of being the warrior for him. This is Trump again. And again, or it could be her father, or it could be even if she's married or has a boyfriend, you know, this is that place where she's, oops, projecting that whole, this whole like vicious circle spin. Because we, we have to remember when when we're unaware of an unmet real need, it causes us to numb out in order to survive when we're little. And then we attach, you know, this life force onto the parent, which as a child growing up, that's the way it needs to go. We need to do that in order to survive. And if the parent is either distant or abusive or controlling or we can just imagine all the things that Trump is and wonder if her father had some of those qualities. Um, or whoever was like the male presence in her life. And and then so but what happens is is like the you know the real needs are their love, their safety, comfort, connection and you know to be seen and heard and understood. Well because she didn't get that or to whatever degree she didn't get that, um, she, she numbed that out, and now she's found herself back in this situation again where she's just trying to probably heal a very young place. Uh, but it might still be very, you know, might be going on in the unconscious realms because it's hidden from her. She's kind of like turned her back from that grief. But once she would, if she will meet the grief of the painful past in, in her childhood, then she can turn, you know, all of this around. But clearly we're seeing the pattern that's in place here. So what happens is, you know, when the real needs aren't met as adults, if we don't, if we don't meet the pain and we don't process it through, we stay stuck. And then we're, we reach out for substitute needs, which can be, you know, food, alcohol, drugs, uh, overworking, i um, you know, shopping, uh, you know, online shopping addictions or shopping addictions, period. There's all types of addictions that, um, you know, that, that come from childhood wounding. 
but we choose our parents, so we can't blame our parents. We choose them in order to re-wound us just the way we need to so that we can tease out whatever the issue is. And finally, at some point, um, reclaim our power. So in order to, you know, break the vicious circle for her, sh vicious circle here in, with this partnership that she had with Trump, she has to get in touch with, you know, the real pain and understand the real needs. That's what, that's what good therapists uh, help you work through. Okay, so up here with what she's done in the past, with this Nine of Wands, she put herself in the place of being like a warrior for him. You know, she, uh, she did have some courage to do that, but then she's realized that this is an ongoing battle she's not going to win, and this is creating quite a setback for her. I don't know how much resilience she has. This can be a card of resilience. It can also be a lot of self-defense. And she did this for him, and maybe like she would have done for her dad. Maybe she was the older person in the the older you know sibling in the family and took on too much responsibility for for the father. Maybe she became the mother for the you know the the younger kids, something like that. I, I'm hearing like there's some sibling thing in there as well, which has nothing to do with these cards. I just heard it. Okay, so her karma. With the hanged man, she is in some type of suspension uh, on, a, on a deep soul level, on a spiritual level, until she gets in touch with her, her own power that she has given away, clearly, to, to men. I mean, we can see that with these cards here. And this is a very, you know, masculine card. Yeah, it's definitely with her father, and I feel there's karma in there with the grandfather as well. Wow, like father to son and then to her. So so there's some way that she was disrespected as, um, as just being uh, female, I think. You know, it's that, old, it's that good old boys club where like women are less than. It's that, it's that bullshit. Oops, pardon my French. I didn't mean to say that. But it is it really is BS. I mean it really it's it's a lie. But there's some defense around that and so so that's her karma. There's there's this need for her to um to let go. You know, to just really let go. But Maybe with her karma being this, you know, being her job with Trump, maybe she'll be let gone. You know, maybe she will be suspended. Maybe she will be, um, you know, rejected. But she needs to, the, the karma for her and her soul is that she, she needs to sacrifice this place in her soul where she gives herself away to men and powerful men and men with money and bullies. This is a card of bullies. The, the, the bear card can also be uh, about jealousy. It's all about financial strength. It's all about uh, food as well. You know, it rules the, in the later mind, it rules the tummy. But f most of all, you know, it's like money, power, protection. So she needs to surrender all of that from the outside and find it within. Find her own power within. And then at some point, you know, she'll, she'll heal, hopefully. But on, on another, like, outer kind of karmic level, because the bear can have everything to do with uh, envy and, you know, jealousy, she will be attracting that. She'll be attracting people who are jealous of her and who will, would bully her and betray her. Because this is just very convoluted. Now, with her future moving forward with the, the page, of, page of Wands reversed, I'm, and just in case you're trying to figure out what those words are, all the pages are of the earthly realm. And with the um, with the wands, those are that's fiery. So we're talking that realm of like grounding your passion. That's that's the 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 thing that needs to happen with the page of wands is to ground your passion. 
when it's reversed, uh, in her with this being in her the future position, she she's not going anywhere. That's this is a really challenging card to have for the future. Uh, you know, reversed. If it were straight up, it would be, especially with the bridge card here, it would be, oh, you know, a, a whole brand new beginning and probably won't be with Trump. But I think, I think she's, she's pissed him off. <laughs> and, you know, there's no making a crazy man happy. So, you know, it can't, I, I can't fault her for that, but it's just she's made some really bad choices. But so in her future, I think she's going to just have some bad news come in. The pages often have news. Um, I think she's going to feel very, you know, frazzled and like her life force isn't going anywhere. And she might start feeling very pessimistic about her connections. And of course, this would be the relationship realm. So I, I think the challenge for her is, um, or the future challenge, it, it, it's looking to me like um, she needs to heal her relationship with her father or whoever this male authority was in her life when she was little. And, and then, you know, cross that bridge. It's like cross that, that bridge to, to create a new life. But right now, and in the, in the at least the near future, She's not going anywhere. I, I, don't, I don't know that this is going to bode well for her to get a new job. So, so yeah, I'm, you know what, Alexis, I think, I think you're right. I think it is going to be like Murphy's Law for her for 20 years or, or you know, or, or, um, or some years for those 20 days that she, um, I mean, she, she held us up in, um, she held up the, peaceful transfer of power for three weeks. And to do that has put the United States of America in a little bit of a, not not just a little bit, enough of a bind where I, you know, God forbid if something would have happened, you know, if we would have had some, some foreign attack or something, I, she, she would have been partially responsible for that. Because she didn't stand up for herself, she she surrendered to him, and she didn't stand up for herself. So that those are her deep regrets. I don't know if she'll if she'll get the message in this lifetime. You know, with these these people in these positions of power, I I I don't know if they take the time to be in therapy. I would hope so, but. Yeah, it's like it's like. This feels to me these two cards together feel like no connection. Her future is to have no connection to to get to a more peaceful place. Or she at least feels that maybe this is part of the dynamic with her father is because there was no connection. Is she feels really you know pessimistic? Yeah. It just feels like, you know, a lot of um I don't think he encouraged her. I don't think she got much encouragement as a little one. And um, so to, to cr cross the bridge to create a new life, there's a real challenge there. I feel like I could draw an extra card around that. Yeah, it, there's a, she, she's going to have to do a lot of emotional work. She's going to have to drop deep down and, and um, heal her false beliefs about what family and love are all about. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm not getting anything more. Um, thank you, Alexis. It was a good question. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get this uploaded soon. My internet went down again, but thank goodness I use an old-timey camera with a battery, and um, I'll, I'll get it uploaded before Thanksgiving anyway. <laughs> Okay, you guys, take good care. Bye.